Okay, so here is uh, version two. This is um, the LCD replacement that is a little bit more intensive. It's probably about a total of 14 to 15 screws, and I would definitely recommend you having a screw mat with you with uh, doing this video just to keep your screws straight. Uh, they come uh, with our Phone Doctors DIY kits, and they also sell uh, individually at ScrewMat.com. So um, we already have the uh, LCD removed from the, um, the rest of the frame. We took the little shield off and the three screws. Let's go ahead and get going. So the first thing we're gonna do, um, there's a possibility that you know you can get an LCD that's not gonna have uh, the metal back plate, um, it won't have the home button or the um, front facing camera with proximity um, sensor uh, installed. And so that's why we're showing you this version two on how to transport your home button, transport all those other little parts and, and uh, doodads. So here we go, okay? We're gonna take this all apart. Phillips screwdriver, this is for your home button. We've got one screw here. Two screws there. And now, I want you to be real careful here because there is um, the home button cable that um, is adhered by 3M adhesive um, to the plastic frame here. Now, this is why we include like black uh, plastic tools. They're really high quality. And we just want to come behind the cable and just slowly just kind of peel it up, okay? You do not want to rip this cable because then it's gonna, you're gonna be without a home button for uh, as long as it takes to order one in. All right, so we just nice and easy peel that up. And here's our home button. The, the home button has uh, some broken shards of glass on there, so we just carefully want to detach. All right, that's, that's cleaned off nicely. Now, let's grab our Phillips again, and we're gonna take these screws out up at the top. Let's keep them organized. This is iPhone 5 launch day, by the way. That's why we don't have the screw mat on our table. We'll have it in stock in just a few days. Okay, now you can see that there's a metal shield um, and it separates. Here's the ear speaker. Okay, that goes directly underneath the metal shield. And now this top cable, that is our front facing camera and proximity flex cable. All right, we got a little tiny black spacer that we'll put back on on the other one. Now let's just take this metal shield off real quick. Keep the screws organized. All right, there's that one. Now there's a couple screws on the side. Another one on the bottom. Now this metal shield should just come up nice and easy, just like that. And then we're done with the broken LCD. Get that out of your way. Let's go ahead and pull in the other one. First thing we'll do is set the metal plate into the new LCD. Okay, I'm gonna start with the top screw over here. Okay, now we'll just go ahead and lay that down on the table. Let's take our home button and line that up real quick. Okay, let's just turn it over, make sure the square is nice and straight. Now we'll take this piece and lay it down over. Make sure that we push our little contacts down into place.
Okay, home button's taken care of. Let's go ahead and, um, okay. Now your proximity sensor here, um, it has a, a bend in the cable. Now we wanna go ahead and we want to turn it like this, okay, with the cable, the flex cable on the same side as the other flex cables. Now there's a little tiny um, spot in here that that proximity sensor is gonna just kinda naturally fall uh, into. Get it in there. There we go, see? Now it's kinda stuck in that little hole right there. We'll just bend this over, like so. And now these little guys, get those planted. Nice and in there. This is for your ear speaker contacts. Okay, now forgive me, this is a really small little piece here. Um, it's a, just a small little tiny black washer and we're gonna try to get that in um, this little top screw location, okay? It serves as a little spacer for that top metal shield that's gonna come down over top of it. We just think it's really important that you return things back to the way that they originally were for the absolute best performance of the device. Okay, let's go ahead and take our ear speaker. Um, there's a hole on the, the bottom side of the ear speaker that will line up with the hole on top of the metal frame. Let's go ahead and just put it straight down over top of it, like so. Take our metal frame here, plant it on top. Okay, I'm gonna take my smaller screw Okay, there we go. Last one up on top. Okay, done. Now, we're ready to plug it up. Three cables again. Go ahead and get the top one in. Like so. Second one. Third one, and just do your best to line them up accurately over their connectors, and then you just plug them straight down in, and they'll just, you'll feel it when it finds that little groove. There we go. Okay, now we'll go ahead and follow it up with the little shield. Remember that there's um, some, some grooves on the left side of the shield that you wanna be careful about, so you don't penetrate and puncture any cables. Some of these screws are, these are the only three screws in this that have been proven difficult with a good magnet, magnetizing uh, ability. So, let's see if I can help it along here. This kind of stuff happens too though where you just gotta be patient and you'll get it. Here we go. I'm making sure that I hold uh, open the LCD assembly so it doesn't just uh, fold all the way back and potentially uh, rip those cables. Let's see. Go ahead and just set it up there on the frame and slide it over. Let's see if third time's the charm here. That's good. Very important. Um, I just uh, taught myself there while uh, pointing something out to you guys. When I flipped it over, a little piece of glass came out from the broken one before. So you'd wanna make sure that you have a clean surface area before you put the new assembly down. So I'm really glad that happens just so we do a, a good job here. Oh my goodness.
There we go. See, patience pays off. Now, important, we want to go ahead and plant the top. Make sure we get nice and flush against the seam at the top. And then we're just going to slowly fold it down into place and make sure that it, there's a little bit of resistance, not much. But see, and it just kind of popped and clicked in there. But be gentle and do it evenly, okay? You don't want to put a ton of pressure on one side and then potentially break this uh, display. But let's go ahead and do a hard reset and we'll get this sucker to come back to life. The iPhone 5 quick version of the LCD replacement brought to you by Phone Doctors. Subscribe to our channel, watch that break test between the S3 and the iPhone 5. Take a trip to my home.